information. Activism begins with ACT. The Rush Belleville Show features the stories of hardworking grassroots activists working for an end to prohibition in today's activist agenda. All right, welcome back, everyone. 22 after the hour, and I got to say, one of my heroes in in drug law reform is Ethan Nadelman. He's the head of the Drug Policy Alliance, and as someone who uh, makes a living doing public speaking, I got to tell you, there's uh, a lot of people out there that I get a lot of inspiration from, and Ethan Nadelman is one of them. He makes such a clear, coherent, and entertaining argument for the legalization of drugs, it's impossible to resist. He had to go up against Kevin Sabet on CNN recently, and it really isn't much of a fair fight. Check this one out. Of uh, four states plus D.C. that have voted to legalize recreational marijuana, is it, and other states have it on the ballot, more states will have it on the ballot, is it inevitable? I don't think it's inevitable. I actually think, you know, the reason why we're seeing the uh, eroding support nationally, although we saw Oregon and Alaska, which were, you know, go, go for this. Eroding support uh, well, after 56% we'll well, of Oregon? 51% percent versus excuse, the Gallup me. poll saying 58% last year, uh, excuse, as we the all Gallup poll, as you would know, so, is an outlier well, last year. Let me finish, Ethan. Hold on. You know that there's a big finish. Speaking over that, is that legalization, well, the Gallup just showed a 7 percentage decline. Look at that. Look at that number right there. 51, so the, 47. That's right. And it was yeah, 40, yeah. it was 58 percent last yeah, year. And the yeah. reason you're seeing this reduced support is that actually legalization in theory sounds a lot better than in practice. In practice, it's about the gummy bears, the candies, the chocolates, these big manufacturers, as you just showed on your on your segment with these this kind of big marijuana business. It's <coughs> not about hippie smoking a joint net now and then. I, I really could care less if a 50-year-old guy wants to smoke marijuana in the privacy of his own home. That's very different than what's going you on in Colorado. You just want to buy it illegally from no, criminals. No, he, he, I don't care if he's a grocer no, 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 himself. That's what you Ethan, want, the, yeah. What I don't want, he though, is... is well, so, 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 you, so you're happy you know? with no, the gummy right. bears and the yeah, chocolate, all chocolates all that are targeted towards kids interesting. in Oregon, Colorado? Oregon, the Oregon voters... Sure. Answer his question, though. No, no. What do you think of the edibles, like gummy bears and chocolates and all that? They need to be better regulated. And what you see happening in Colorado and Washington right now are regulations to better control that. But you're not having it better regulated because of the industry. It's also a relatively new phenomenon. No, the industry actually has a pretty strong interest in regulating they, this stuff. They have so said no to every this is, sense the whole of issue of, of, of the gummies and the edibles yeah. is going to become less and less of an issue. The vast majority of people who take marijuana in an edible form don't have a problem. The other thing is, unlike alcohol or opiates, you don't die of an overdose. It's not a good thing to overdose on an edible, but it's not dangerous. Like, can't you die from marijuana, from a car crash, from falling off a building? Yeah, but as, quite as, frankly, if you're, on an, ed- if you're on an edible, you're not driving. If you have too much edible, you're so, lying down. That's well, what you're doing. I, I think that's what's so happening. Quite frankly, the interesting thing also is in <laughs> Oregon and Alaska. People drive. In Oregon, Alaska, you saw the opposition really try to make <laughs> you saw the opposition try to make something of this edibles argument, and right. the Oregonians looked at it and said, "You know something? Let's stop kidding around. Let's yeah. stop leaving it underground. Why have illegal edibles as opposed to legal edibles? Yeah. Why well, not tax because there weren't gummy stuff? bears before fact, Colorado legalized, well, and no, the fact that actually, actually Colorado's had a tripling. It's not a joke. And gummy, fatal gummy, car crashes with people Kevin, high on marijuana. And gummy bears so are a modern. A and they're a contemporary version of the old marijuana brownies. And but most of us, most kids. of us, went, this is most of us went to, excuse me, most of us went to college. Remember having a little too Why much of an back then. Why not stop at letting an adult smoke marijuana in the privacy of his home, or even grow his own, versus starting this commercial market? It's because there's a lot of money to be made in this, Don. This is about money. This is about creating yeah. another tobacco it's, industry. It's for all about money. And you sound yes. like more. This but, is a, more of a libertarian yeah. approach that you're you're talking about. Like, stay out of my home. Yeah. What I do in the privacy of my own home. Just don't target. Don't have gummy bears. Yeah. I eat a lot of gummy bears, and I'm, you know, well, yeah, a man I'm of a sure certain age. Do, but, but, but when the <laughs> serving size is, do you eat one leg of a gummy bear, or do you have a whole bag? And I that, one arm. That, that, you would no doubt like that these things would be labeled properly, that you would know the dose and the potency. So what right? do we Under do, a prohibition then, model, that's not going to happen. What do there we isn't do, gummy bears what under a prohibition do, model. What do we do? Aren't we making this <laughs> tough, though? But think, because it's not legalized everywhere, right? And, it's, and are we making it tough for employers and places that regulate the you workplace know. issue Excuse is enormous. There, the, the issue about testing positive in the workplace, the safety issues, people saying, wait a minute, I smoked on Friday or night, uh, now it's Monday. You know, the interesting it's, thing, though, I'm these are the arguments positive. that used to carry these, some weight. These are used to carry some weight. What you see is the vast majority <laughs> of Americans who are now voting to legalize marijuana don't use marijuana. They're voting to legalize. And you know what That's else? true. You know what else? And the but people who want... 
The people who want to, the people who want to vote to legalize marijuana right now, right? These are they no more want their kids using marijuana than do the people who are opposed to it. The bottom line is we see a massive shift happening in American public opinion over the last 10 to 15 years. People are saying we want the cops focusing on real crime, not busting young people for marijuana. They're saying we want the government taxing and regulating it and using the tax revenue for things like education instead of yeah. the gangsters getting the money. That's the way. That's why two years from now, watch for California and other states right. to begin to legally regulate these states. These states are well. trying to legalize okay. this the last couple of years because also of uh, because money. Nine million dollars was pumped in. Well, hold on. Let's go Oregon and California. Nine million dollars. Nine million dollars. It did work for you. Nine million versus four hundred thousand in messaging. I think as we live.